Spreadshirt tutorial, how to use Spreadshirt step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at the print on demand platform called Spreadshirt. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people are starting their dropshipping stores and are starting e-com businesses, but you can really simplify your entire supplier process with Spreadshirt because Spreadshirt is a platform that allows you to create customized items. You can print whatever you want and there are so many different options other than just printing. They have things like embroidery as well, as well as multiple different types of products and diverse designs for you to be able to create more creative designs. Plus, you can even design products to gift to other people if you're not looking for just e-com. You can see the great benefits of using Spreadshirt include that it is risk-free, they take care of everything, shipping, handling, payments, customer service for the product that you design, and it is always free. Plus, you can sell on various marketplaces as well and have multiple revenue incomes that you generate. Now to get started with Spreadshirt, all you have to do is head on over to Spreadshirt.com. Once you're over here, you just want to click on start selling on the top right. And then after that, they're going to ask you a question whether you want to open your own spread shop. So this will be your own unique URL or link, or if you want to sell on the Spreadshirt marketplace. Now, if you don't have brand recognition already, then you definitely want to sell on the marketplace. But if you have a pre-existing brand, then you might want to create your own spread shop. Now, I want to sell on the marketplace. If you're creating merchandise or if you're creating, you know, uh, something that is regarding to a pre-existing business, then you can use your own spread shop as well because you're going to be promoting it on your other platforms anyways. But we're going to sell on the marketplace and we're just going to continue on over here. So after that, we're just going to enter a shop name, a password, and we're just going to accept over here and get started now. I'm going to log into my account because I previously created one. And then you're just going to continue on over here. You guys saw the setup is pretty much the same. Now, once you have created your Spreadshirt uh, account, you guys will see this is going to be your dashboard. Now, in your dashboard, uh, you have a navigation panel on the left and on the bottom of that, you have your shop. So we have your shop name and you can use a logo. Now, we have opted to create a entire store. The reason for that is if I just covered the Spreadshirt marketplace setup, I would only be covering just designing elements. But I want you guys to be able to see how you can actually set up your store as well. Now, you guys can see on the bottom, you can open your shop and you can sell on Spreadshirt. If you want to do that, you can click on open shop and just create your shop as well. And you can see both your open shop and your marketplace uh, showroom settings would be available over here as well. So you guys can see you have your marketplace designs and then you have your shop designs as well. You can set up both of these differently if you choose to do so. But we're going to be setting these up later. First, we want to go into our basic dashboard. So now going into the section over here, we have uh, the, our design section on the left side. And once you do that, you can start uploading your design. So first off, let's say I have this design over here. I can just click on open over here. And I can upload any of my designs that I want to use. And once you have uploaded your designs, uh, you can just click on the design that you have uploaded. Now you can choose whether you want to sell it on Spreadshirt or Spread Shop. Let's say I only want to sell this on my personal shop, or let's say I only want to sell it on the marketplace, then I would just click on next over here. Now you guys can see once you have selected where you want to uh, sell this product, you're going to see multiple different templates uh, available for your design. So you guys can see these are all of the products that they have shown. Let's say I don't want to do it in this kind of t-shirt and I would just cross these out like this and I would just continue on designing. So let's say I want to sell my design. Now let's say I don't want to do it in a hoodie style or tank top yet. I would just click on the cross over here and I only want, you know, t-shirts um men's t-shirt premium t-shirt normal t-shirt tall t-shirt uh i don't want the polyester ones i have the tank top not the baseball and then just a basic women's t-shirt or just let's say we just want to do men's products now after that you can click on all products over here 
and you would be able to see all of the products that are currently available on Spreadshirt that you can put your designs on. Let's say I have these track pants. So let's say I want to do these. I can turn that on. You have multiple different options. You have women's items. You have jackets, socks, kids items as well. You also have baby items, accessories. Let's say I want to do face masks. You can do that. So I'm going to turn this on and you guys can see I have color variations in the face mask as well. So you can choose any of the color variations. If I go into the t-shirt section, you guys can see there are multiple different color variations and you can choose which one you want to provide. You can choose uh, the specific colors that you want if you want to look for a base color as well. Now, once you have chosen the items you want to sell, you're going to click on next on the top right. And once you do that, you're going to enter your design name. So let's say our design is cloud and then you would add a description so whatever description you want to add i do recommend that you add a longer description around 100 over 100 words at least make it 150 for a good description and then you want to add tags so you want to add all the you know applicable tags i don't recommend adding too many tags 10 tags are enough but Obviously, it, you get the opportunity to add 25 tags, so I do recommend the higher the better, but make sure that you're actually adding tags that are, you know, actually linking well to your product. They don't need to be random tags, so make sure you're aware of that before you add everything in a tag. Then you want to click on create on the top right and your design will be created. So you just have to enter your basic information over here to complete your upload. Now, after that, if we take a look at some of the analytics on Spreadshirt on the bottom left, you guys will be able to see you have your sales tier and then you have your transactions and the credit and the payout. So you guys can manage all of your financial earnings that you get directly from Spreadshirt. And then you have your tips and tools section as well as a basic notification section. Now, moving on to the showroom or the shop section, if we go into the shops over here on Spreadshirt, so you guys can see this is what my Spreadshirt shop is currently looking like. Now, if I want to change the active element color, I can just do this. This will open up the color wheel. Let's say we want this to be like a pale kind of pink like this, and I'm just going to choose that like so. Now, after that, you have your background design, background colors as well, and you can customize all of the appearances from here. Then you can also just click on any of the panels, uh, like your navigation panel, click on customize and, you know, customize the navigation panel and your product categories as well. So in this way, you can create your own design. You guys can see this is what a basic t-shirt is going to look like. You can choose a default color. You can add product details as you wish. And you have a very nice and uh, super easy to use and simple website ready for you to be able to sell your print on demand products as well as your product on the Spreadshirt marketplace itself. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.